Natasha Barrett is live from the Arlington Courthouse with what happened in court today. Natasha. Leon, that 10 year old girl, that little girl was the only one to take the stand today inside the courtroom. She wore her sparkly glitter sunglasses while she answered questions in there because she said she was a little nervous. Inside this Arlington courtroom, a 10 year old girl took the stand and identified her attacker. She pointed at Michael Gardner, husband of a Falls Church City Council member, and said he was the man who fondled her at a slumber party at his house last June. The 10 year old also said she heard Gardner fondle another girl sleeping near her in the basement. In court, Gardner's attorney read the 10 year old statement to police. He said, you told the detective it was too dark to see who it was in the basement. The 10 year old said, I only saw that it was a boy. The detective said, did you see his face? The 10 year old said, no. That 10 year old then said her story changed because she says she was nervous a year ago. A friend of Gardner's talked to us outside the courtroom. Then she told one story, now she's telling the opposite. On one thing after another, and it calls into question um, her credibility. Now, I did try to reach out and talk with some other people on the other side of the aisle, family, family members of victims, but they hadn't left the courtroom yet. Now, this trial, it's only the first day, but it, co it could go on for several more days. Prosecution has 16 more witnesses. The defense, 20. Live from Arlington, Natasha Barrett, ABC 7 News. Thanks, Natasha. The driver charged. Natasha Barrett is live from the Verizon Center tonight with the fallout from these racist tweets. Natasha. Leon Joel Ward just commented on these racist comments. He says he was on board the team plane coming back from Boston when another teammate showed him these tweets. And he told USA Today these racist comments are shocking to see. But at the same time, it's not ruining my day. Now both teams and fans are speaking out. The Washington Capitals won in overtime last night against the Boston Bruins, all thanks to Caps player Joel Ward. But that defeat sparked online rage from countless Boston fans. I think it's it's appalling. On Twitter, Boston fans wrote tweets using profanities and a racist expletive. Here are some. I can't believe the series winner was scored by a stupid go play basketball. Hockey is a white sport that deserves to hang. That's pretty bad on their parts. They should be ashamed of themselves. You just realize that racism still exists. It's sad. That's unacceptable. They lost. It's a game. But they won fair and square. They shouldn't be doing that. They lost. Ted Leones, this owner of the Washington Capitals, released this statement. What these people have said and done is unforgivable. I hope they are now publicly identified and pay a huge price for their beliefs. There should be zero tolerance for this kind of hate mongering. I think that's totally out of line. Um, and it's just so unlike hockey fans. True hockey fans really love the game and, and the good, the bad of it. And, it's very sad. The Boston Bruins then released their own statement saying the Bruins are very disappointed by the racist comments and that these classless, ignorant views are in no way a reflection of anyone associated with the Bruins organization. Now, Joel Ward also said that these comments, these racist comments did not phase him at all and that he's moving on. Live from the Verizon Center tonight, Natasha Barrett, ABC 7 News. All right, thanks, Natasha. And way to go, Joel Ward.